back to another video and today I have Mateo with us over here and he is actually one of our admins you may know him from that but yeah he's gonna be showing us his awesome Salmangrate deck profile from today at locals he did pretty good so yeah before we get into the video remember to like comment and subscribe and let's do this okay um yeah so Salmangrate is one of the good decks this format it helps you break boards through at Emancipator and Eldritch with your hand traps. You play multiple to actually break those boards. Mm -hmm. Usually you're going to have a rougher matchup against a rogue, but that's something you have to deal with this yep. deck. But let's get into the profile. Perfect. Let's do this. So we're going to start with the main deck. We're going Monsters. double debug. Um, don't like three because debug and this card combined, I feel like makes a good ratio instead of running three and zero or three and two. I feel like that's just too much. Uh, Do you think 3 and 3 is good? It's too much. You, I feel like you just break on them too much, even though they're like starter cards. There's just so many ways to search them that they really no need to play more. That's just in my opinion, though. Um, you could definitely play more if you really wanted to, but this is just my opinion. Um, we're also, for the generic cybers, so we're running Triple Parallel Exceed. This is one of the best cards that has come out for this deck. It gives you instant access to Baguska, which I'll show later, which is super strong against most matchups, and it chain, chain blocks everything, and it helps you play through boards, actually. So, so would you go Chain Link 1 Exceed, Chain Link 2 um, Bailing, or Chain Link 1 Bailing, Chain Link 2 Exceed? Um, probably Chain Link. One exceed. It really depends. It doesn't okay. really matter. Sounds good. Um, yeah, but that's a really for the generic cybers. So you don't play much mm -hmm. too different of a lineup. Most people's lists are gonna have around a similar yep. lineup to that. Uh, for the actual side cards, we're playing one gazelle. Obviously, the heart and soul of the deck. Double foxy. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Double foxy. Yep. Um, yeah. I was trying one for a bit because it does kind of get a little bit clogged, but it helps you just out like unbeatable floodgates. So this is just really strong right now. Um, double Jack Jaguar. Jack Jaguar, uh, two of them is really strong. You don't want to banish it off the desires. Yeah, that is, that is mainly the reason. Um, but it just helps you combo. It gets you to access code. Uh, double Spinny. This card also is like your biggest combo piece. It gives you everything for free. Um, never would cut it down to one. And I would actually think about playing three over one. Uh, any single day of the week. Oh, and by the way, if you guys don't like these ratios, just so you know, this guy has been playing Saw Magritte since it literally came out. So yeah, I, his yeah, ratios are pretty good, so keep that in mind. Um, and then lastly, we're running the one Falco. Um, Falco. There's really no reason to run like Foul this format. Falco, it just helps you bounce your uh, Gazelle back to hand if you ever need it. And you can do some quite niche plays with it. Uh, it does come up sometimes though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I wouldn't play more salad than like salads in this. Uh, I think we're playing we're playing more than enough in this list. Mm -hmm. um, yep. More is just not necessary. So that's all your salads. Yeah. Now we're going on to the hand traps, which is quite chunky in this deck because it needs to be triple ash blossom. All right. This is the staple of the deck. It's always been a staple, and it always will be the best hand trap in this deck. Very budget. Been reprinted yep. very many times. Uh, we go triple ghost ogre. What do you think about this card? Uh, right now I'm only using it because my imprints are in the mail. But if you have infinite permanents, this is the instance uh, swap out. Impermanence is not as strong as this card. Uh, but this is good against Numeron. Helps you play through boards. Sick. Uh, but wouldn't recommend to main it if you had imprints. Yeah. Triple Nibiru in the main. I, this is super necessary in this format. You need it to break through boards. Yep. If you're playing out of Aspirator, this is the card you need in hand. Mm -hmm. Usually it takes uh, the rock and at least one other hand trap to break through their board. But yeah, this is the most consistent and strongest hand trap I've actually ever played with. Sick. Uh, lastly, for the hand traps, you go Triple Valor. Valor is super strong in combination with. Okay, let's keep this a bit more organized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In combination with your imperms and stuff, this just allows you to break through boards. It's really simple. Mm -hmm. And it stops your opponent from doing anything else. And then lastly, I wouldn't really consider this a hand trap. This is just your free plus two. Or your free plus. Uh, it's a uh, phantasmate. Always Phantasma. been a staple in the deck, yeah. this and imperm. How many hand traps are you running in total? Uh, 14. And do you ever break on them? Like, probably not. Um, hand traps in this deck are, like, crucial. So even if you open five hand traps, it's strong. It's not like you're breaking on hand traps. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, that is so it for the monsters. Let's get into the spells over here. Spells, obviously, like the best spell in the deck is Pot of Desires. Um, Pot of Desires gives you instant access to anything you need. and Two is mathematically incorrect. Yeah, that is that is factual. Um, factual. <laughs> Desires 
is just super strong and solid because you're never really banishing something you don't need. So it's always going to be super strong. Perfect. Um, so yeah, three desires. Uh, the one circle and then the triple mining. So this is your drop or like search power. So you have five gazelles, which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't considering yeah, that I mean, you could have eight or you seven. You also have more because of your, your, debugs. your debugs. You have chances to draw them. Like You have a lot of gazelles. Yeah. So you yeah, you're good to go. So yeah, this is just a standard ratio. You can't play more. You, or you obviously can't play more. Also, to all of you budget players, reprint. Yep. it got reprinted. Um, yeah, this card is super important to the deck. You can't like you can't play it without it. Um, yeah, so this is our search and draw Ooh. power Ooh. Uh, for the salad spells. Uh, we're just using double will. Triple will is not the call this format. It's way too bricky. I would even consider playing this at one because it just ends up clogging your hands. But two is really solid right now, and one sanctuary. Uh, this is the brick, but you have to play for Balix. And even if you do jar, it's sometimes the roll. Yeah, uh, for the traps, we're playing one of each. Uh, this is mandatory, no more, no less. Uh, yeah, this is it's not two and two anymore because you actually have good cards to be running in yeah, the deck. That's true. Cool. So extra deck over here. Extra deck. We're going triple Balix. Mandatory. Yeah, strongest card. I played two for the longest time, but two you can't run with anymore you need three you're summoning all mm. three of them most of the time any single grind game and the grave effect is amazing it yeah. doesn't even act triple sunlight wolf uh this card's just standard it's like the best link in the deck in the deck it really just helps you play through everything it baits in the gate it's super strong mm -hmm. uh lastly we go double helio you don't need more than this i, I would like i really don't like this card but you just have to play it because it's this strong enough to run but it's not str like weak enough to cut yes yeah this is the standard salad lineup can't play more it there's no space so now we have the power five i call oh. it so we got the access code transcode update splash mage and uh Link the power Rebel. five right here yeah so these just give you access to the absolute broken access code OTK, which just is going to consist of you targeting... It's over 10,000 damage. Yeah. So you just could target your transcode and you go from there. You pop uh, yeah. stuff from your... All of this is mandatory and it's literally yeah. one card. So there actually is, like, you can cut these two and try to play some, like, board-breaking cards like Avermax. But Lingaribo is also really good in yeah. the matchups in general. Like, it's real good against Ultra Geist. Lingaribo is strong, but the only thing is, like, if you need more space or something else, uh, two pops, two or three pops is going to be more than enough usually mm. to break the board if you actually get the access code. Yes. So, the, it, with this board, you're going to have the potential to pop five monsters. So... Then we're going to go for our XYZs. Yep. Um, I like going Baguska and Tornado Dragon. Yes. So Tornado Dragon, really good for me because I, I do struggle with the background matchup. This card just makes it the most free matchup ever. You pop their like, bottomless if they're playing a little bit quirky builds, but Tornado yeah. Dragon just makes it super easy, super free. And Baguska is a very good yeah. card. Baguska uh, like, makes the whole deck playable. Mm -hmm. It's just really strong with, with uh, your Parallel Exceed. So now with the uh, side deck. So yeah. I've been siding triple cosmic. Um, this, this card is really yeah. mandatory against um, Elric. Elric didn't come up today because I really just did not face Elric, but it is super strong. Mm -hmm. uh, go triple dark blue no more. You need this to break your Adam Emancipator board. Just can't play. Like Adam Emancipator is a super rough matchup if you don't open your hand traps. This is just mandatory. And you are running 14 hand traps, so chances are you are going to open it, but having the three hand traps, the dark blue no more, and the gazelle is very yeah. good. Um, also, we're running triple evenly matched. Uh, evenly matched is super free in this deck, and it's really not necessary to use your battle phase with this deck because it just retains so much advantage. So, mm. really strong. Evenly uh, helps sure. you break the boards. Um, next, we're running one red group, mandatory for the Eldritch matchup. Yeah, so. you want to be able to OTK them, especially with access code being able to right now for the over the 10,000 damage combo. Yeah. Uh, so now we're gonna go for our like kind of interesting lineup. So we go triple goes in, double summon line. So mm -hmm. this combo or combination is really good against your Numeron, Eldlick, and also Adamantipator build because this obviously when you're going first, you set this up and they can't play through this. Mm -hmm. um, you also can put three, two, um, you can work with your ratios. Rivalry is also really nice, but goes in really, really strong because everything in your deck is fire. Obviously, you won't have access to your access code OTK, but you will have access to your heat leos and everything that will make the deck strong. So, 
I think this lineup is strong. You could try Rivalry because that also gives you access to your, your whole entire package. So you can yes. actually summon everything because it's Cybers. The only things you won't be able to summon are your Tornado Dragon and Baguska. But, but this works out very well for sure. Yeah, it's a really strong side deck choice. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, again, you could run Rivalries instead and or three summon limit. It's up to you. But yeah. Cool, that's the deck. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Once again, thank you for Matteo for being on the channel. Of course, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All Peace. right, peace.